This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 6.5.2.3, Troubleshooting Static Routes, which is a part of the Routing and Switching Essentials Cisco Networking Academy curriculum. Now, in this lab, we've got a network that's already laid out for us. It's configured, actually, with a lot of commands as well, but we need to uh, fix it because it's a troubleshooting lab. Now, remember, with our troubleshooting labs, when we go to check results, we don't get any assessment items, okay? So we got to make sure that we uh, pay attention to what we already have configured, what we want to have in the end, because we do have to have some static routes as well. We need to look at the layout of our lab to make sure we know what static routes we should have and which we shouldn't. So right here, um, we're relying on static routes for everything. So R1 knows about what it's directly connected to, which is the LAN, PC1, S1, the WAN, between it and R2, but it does not know about the LAN connected to R2, doesn't know about the WAN between R2 and R3, doesn't know about the LAN connected to R3. So we're looking for three routes on R1 and they should all be there. So uh, let's look at that to see if they're correct. Now we wanna be very methodical when we do our show commands and trying to go through and, and make sure each one because just the static routes is not the only thing that could be wrong give you IP addressing everything so let's look at our static routes. so we know we should have three let's dissect them so our destination network we want to get to is 172.31.0.0 slash 24 so my subnet mass is 255.255.255.0 that is correct to get up here and it says Anytime we want to get there, send it out of S00 on R1. Let's check that port. It is S00. So that's a good route. Okay. Anytime it wants to get up there to that LAN, send it out of S00. Now, anytime you want to get to 172.31.1.196 slash 30, so that's the WAN between R2 and R3. Our subnet mask is a .252 at the end because it's a slash 30. And it says send it out of serial 000. If we kind of trace that, that would be correct. Okay, so send it out of that interface. Then if we want to get to the R3 LAN, 172.31.1.128, that is my subnet mask for a slash 26, send it out of S000. That looks good, right? So all those three routes are good. Let's check our individual interface here to make sure everything is on, which we can see green lights, but we need to make sure the IP address is right. It says for interface serial 000 on R1, we should have an IP address of 172.31.1.194. So let's look. That looks like it matches up to our address and chart. Okay. What about gigabit ethernet 00? See if that matches up. 172.31.1.1.128 subnet mask. Looks like that matches up and is turned on. Now let's double check to make sure we didn't need a clock rate on S00 here. We see the clock rate symbol on R2, so we're good there. Okay, now while we're here just dealing with R1, let's check PC1's IP address. And it looks like 172.31.1.126.128. 31.1 is the default gateway. So that all checks out. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now let's go to R2. R2, we need how many static routes? We need two. Okay. We need to know how to get over here. And we need to know how to get over here. All right, so let's look at them on R2. <clears throat> so 172.31.1.0 is my destination address or my destination network address, which is over here on the other side of R1. So dot .128 subnet mask that matches up to a slash 25. And it's using the recursive method or the next top IP. So it's saying anytime you want to get there, send it to 172.31.1.198. .1 
Now, I don't know if that address is correct, but I do know that if I leave R2 trying to get down here, this is the next spot that I'm sending it to, which is R1's S000 interface. So let's check and see if that matches S000 on R1. And we see it doesn't. Okay, so that is an error. Okay, so we'll need to go fix that. All right. So I'm going to do no IP route. Sorry, first one here. Okay, to clear it out, then I'm going to do the correct one. So when we want to get to 31.1.0, okay, we're going to send it to 172.31.1.1. Ninety-four. Okay, so again, if I need to get down here, R2 needs to send it to S000 on R1, and that's its IP address. That's the correct one. Let's look at our other route. 172.31.1.128.192.168.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
with the right addressing it is and G00 also configured with the right addressing and it looks like it is. We also need to check PC2 make sure it has the right IP addressing and looks like it does and the server to make sure it has the right IP addressing that one that one, 90 and it looks like it does so let's see what we got here we've got 90 out of 90 all right so we fixed So these static routes were okay. R2, we had to clear out both static routes and put in two new ones. And on R3, we had to add one static route. All right, so that gives us a 100% for this particular lab. And we are good to go. So remember, troubleshooting, you want to make sure that you have everything according uh, to your uh, end goal. But you need to look at it with static, route, static routing, especially through the lens of each individual router still. And what method, recursive or um, directly attached or even a default route, what that needs to be.